What's going on guys, Gitchy1230 here with another episode of GTA 5 Talk, and today's topic is Nostalgia. This was submitted by Moab123, and he said, Do you think Nostalgia will keep this from being the best GTA game for old time fans? Now, I love this question. This is a very unique question, and I am actually really happy that this was submitted. This is something that uh, I've always thought about and I would like to talk about. So first of all, I think uh, we're going to start by defining the word nostalgia, just in case you guys don't know. Nostalgia, uh, according to Google, means a sentimental longing for the past, typically for a period or place with happy personal associations. Now this applies perfectly to Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. That is something that people are longing for from the past. They want the next Grand Theft Auto to be a lot like that. And that was also a game that had happy personal associations. I mean, that game came out years ago, and now the gamers that are 20 years old look back to their young teenage days thinking of all the happy times they had with it, or maybe you're only 13 and you're watching this, then you think about when you were, you know, 8 years old or whatever, and uh, there are a lot of associations in your mind that make you want to go back to that. And I think that uh, that might keep people from thinking that Grand Theft Auto V is the best game so far. Nostalgia plays a huge role in everyday basic psychology. Um, like, for example, when you take the, uh, I don't know, a game like Mario Kart 64, and then now they have made five more since then or whatever, the new ones are almost better than Mario Kart 64 in every way. They handle better... They're more, well, I shouldn't say realistic, because it's Mario Kart, but there are more characters to choose from, better courses, more courses. Everything's just gotten better, the graphics and everything. But nostalgia, even in my mind, I like Mario Kart 64 better because of nostalgia. Even though, you know, the newest ones play better in almost every way, and the controllers on the 64 are so uncomfortable, after a while they hurt your hand, but because of nostalgia and the happy memories that I have associated with that, I like Mario Kart 64 than anything else. So that is kind of uh, my representation for Grand Theft Auto. You're gonna have this brand new awesome game, but people are still gonna like San Andreas best because of their happy memories associated with that game. So I hope I didn't bore you guys too much with this topic. It was, to me, something that's very interesting. Uh, applying this basic psychology to video games and the sales of video games. You know, this uh, nostalgia can affect the sales of Grand Theft Auto V just because <clears throat> people have this longing for the past where, you know, they have these great memories of playing San Andreas on the long summer days with their friends just running around doing missions and it, it was just a lot of fun and that can uh, really, I don't know, I guess affect what you think of the games in the future. So, to answer your question, I do think that, that nostalgia will keep this from being the best Grand Theft Auto game for old-time fans, for the most part. You know, there are going to be other old-time fans that think this will be, or that this is the best Grand Theft Auto yet, but there are definitely going to be the ones that just, you know, still say, nope, San Andreas was still the best. And maybe if you're a new gamer, you look at this as, uh, you know, your first Grand Theft Auto ever, this is going to be the uh, best game to them, most likely. So, I don't know, that's my opinion. Thank you guys for watching, post your comments in the comments below, tell me what you think, and suggest topics for future episodes. Thanks for watching, see you next time.